Hello world and welcome back to our 3ds Max tutorial series. Um, so we've done quite a bit over this time, we've learnt some more features, some cool effects. So what I'm going to show you today is the way I started off modelling is by using something called box art or box craft. Paper craft, stuff like you've many many names. But that's what I started modelling and texturing with and that then I went into gaming, making games and better models. So I link in the description for this website here called Cubecraft, I'll put in the one I'm on. And what these are, is if we click it and have a look, is loads of paper craft models you can print off and design and stuff. So if we just pick say an easy one for now, so I don't know. See this is where you struggle because you don't know which one you want. I'm just going to simply pick Shredder, simply because we have got a Shredder. So as you can see, it, like if you click download, I'm just going to open it in a new tab, see if it works. Um, so you will need WinRAR to do this then. So what you can do is if you open it, when it loads, and okay, WinRAR, open one up, you will see that they are in boxes so if we cut out the black marks or put it into a template what we can make we can make model it texture it and all we have to do is paste it on every time these are really 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 basic and you could probably go away with making games out of it but they are really really cool to make like you've got your head here for shredder so first part we're going to model it and then the second part we are going to um, texture it yeah and then don't forget when we do one we can do multiple ones so first we look at it so he's got a big box head we know that ignoring the triangles around his head he's got a rectangular body two rectangle arms and a rectangle feet super simple so what we can do is we'll start off with a default box alt w to go into full screen and we'll just make it 30 by 30 by 30 so is it a box no, it's a bit less than a box, so if we change the height to 20, that looks okay. Does it look right? Yep, that looks okay. So what we can do is we'll rename this to head, and we'll move this up, say, well, we'll print it in the middle first. Then we'll move it up, say, 20. That's the wrong way, 20. There we go. So instead of extruding it down, we could, like, chop, intersect this bottom bit up, or press F4 so you can see the waypoints. All what we can do is right click, clone, and choose copy, and we'll just drag it down. And then what we can do is if we mess with the sizes here, so say the length will be 20 and 20, we've got a box in the middle of him, is that what it's like? That, that one's pretty much done. We could extend it a little bit on the height. No, 30 is too much, but 25 should be right. Yeah, that looks right. That looks okay. So are we facing the front? The front is here, because when we do the arms next, we need to make sure we do it right. So what we can do is clone it and choose copy. Um, we'll drag it out to the side. Well, that's way too long for a start, so we'll try 5 and 5. 5. So height is not 5, we definitely know that. 10 is a bit, 15, mm, we'll say 20, no we will say 15, but the length and width needs to be a bit better, so 10, 10 is too much, 8 and 8, that looks right, so if we go to our left view, Alt W, middle mouse button, Alt W, we can zoom in, and now we can move it up to where we want it to be, about there, and rotate it down, does that look, whereabouts is it, it's going towards his belt which would be about there so we've got a kind of arm going on there I'm just going to turn it from realistic to shader because it makes it run a bit better as you can see so what I'm going to do is go to my top view again alt w to switch between it quickly hold shift and click and drag as you can see it creates a copy for us so what we can do now that we've done that is if we put the body at zero 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 and then move the helmet up to about there we can see that 25 will be a good height it should be bang on top of it move these arms up to about there make sure it's even 
if it's not even then we have a problem well 13 is too bad but 14 is perfect so we've got our basic model going on here now if we look at the feet of it the feet um, look like they're actually conjoined but they are actually a little bit smaller I know from experience of doing it so we can clone the body because it is the same rough size and we can change the height to around 10 then we'll move it down by 10 and then we'll just move everything in well that looks right so if we angle it like he is so he's like that soon we'll be applying the textures to it um, when we do this default one, stuff like the Leonardo, well, not the Leonardo, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and stuff like that, or Cat Krang, you'll be able to just assign it, but stuff like the helmet, they're the things you'll have to go in and add to it. But there's some. At the end of this video, I'll put like a little slideshow on some I've done before when I first started modeling, just to show you how bad I was. And then when we finish this, you'll know how much I've improved. So, Control S, let's go and save it. I've made a folder called box art, save it now, so we'll call this template. So we'll just rename all these stuff, so head, body, what we got, arm, arm, and leg. So that's it. So for next tutorial, we'll start officially actually adding it, um, the textures to it, and then once we're done, that's it. We'll rig him or something, I don't know. See you next time.